Hey Joke Monkey friends, it's Sonia and Matt, and it is Friday. Happy Friday to you guys all. And today is part two. Who hung out with us yesterday when we put some of our Joke Monkey milk paint on this scrumptious old piece called a China Cabinet of Hutch. I don't care what you call it, it's gorgeous and not shabby beautiful, okay? So we figured it was maybe 1920s, 30s. It had some issues with it. I was so grateful to get it for $20. And now I'm just putting a really cool personality spin onto it, right? That's cool. What is your furniture? You can do whatever the heck you want, okay? So I am loving this green. If you love the green that's on it, which is our Irish eyes right now, please send us some hearts, send us some hearts, send us it, some hearts. It looks a little brighter on camera than it's a little darker green. It, it looks a little minty from the light, but it's What's not. Minty green? Yeah, yeah, look, look. Are you kidding me? No. Yeah, I'm ahead. Oh, well, okay. It's right. from the it's light. It's bright. It's bright light. That's okay. Yeah. Matt will move in just a second. Maybe you'll be able to see it from a different view. It is a gorgeous emerald green color. So hopefully you guys are picking out what we're putting down, okay? So now, or almost like a lucky clover kind of color in our chalky style paint, if you're familiar with that as well. But the cool thing is, the reason why I used our milk paint on this is because I was open to any chippiness, any sort of shabbiness, any sort of crackling anything that wanted to happen so no our milk paint is not like our chalky style paint otherwise why would we have two lines of paint that do the very same thing okay so here's the deciding factor do you want mr pickles the boy monkey the guy who the little furry creature who does what he's told stays where he needs to be when you tell him to uh sit tight okay so mr pickles is uh basically i can see matt's face right now behind the camera and he's looking at me probably because i said a little fuzzy creature is that what it is no what it does whatever it's told. Oh, gosh. It puts Help the lotion me. on the skin. Inside story. If you guys yeah. have been following us over here the last week, you know the inside story of that. Okay, all right. So anyway, but uh, Pickles, who is our little monkey on our Chalky Style paint, right here, this guy right here, when you use our Chalky Style paint, um, it stays where it's supposed to, right? And you can you can distress and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it, but you start with a base of paint where you know it's gonna stay where you put it, okay? And it sticks to like wood and metal and fake wood and glass and all that jazz, awesome stuff, right? The milk paint, Miss Petunia, she's the girl monkey, it gets a little bit crazy. You just never know what she's going to do, right? So that's the difference between her and Pickles. So Miss Petunia, there you go. She's doing a handstand, a paintbrush in her tail, upside down. You know, she just can't sit on that timeout chair. So she does some funny stuff. And so I can see right now coming in today what I'm looking at. I have got, look at this crackling. Do you see the crackling that's happening right here and all along here? So Pickles is not going to do that, right? So this is the difference. I am up for shabby chippiness, and this is why I'm using our Junk Monkey milk paint today, okay? So to bring you up to speed with where we left off, now we're going to go ahead today and start the, the final steps that go into this piece to make it look amazing already other than what it is. Just putting a coat of paint, I am somebody who believes in the power of paint and the difference it can make, right? Real, really, really quick changes that you can do around your home. And by the way, speaking of the power of paint, I have to tell you that in my shop today, I had two amazing ladies that came to visit us from Sharpsburg Rocks, okay? S-H-A-R-P-S Berg, B-U-R-G Rocks. R-O-C-K-S, all right? And Susan came in with her friend, and they gave us this, babe. Look at this. How nice is this? That look is at this. Sweet. You can see Sharpsburg Rocks. Can you pick it up right there? And they Sharpsburg, came in. Sharpsburg, Virginia. This was, they're, well, they're out by uh, Pittsburgh. They oh. don't live in Sharpsburg. Oh, Sharpsburg, yeah. Pittsburgh. I'm thinking yes. Civil War Sharpsburg. So <laughs> they are, I guess, maybe an hour or so away from us, but they came yeah. in, they got some Jug Monkey paint, and they just do a beautiful thing, okay? And they basically, they paint rocks with the community. They put the rocks that around the community. You can have fun searching for them. You can return them. You can paint your own. And they just are doing a beautiful thing. So I want you to go give them some love, Sharpsburg Rocks. Maybe I'll tag the page when I'm done below as well. And I just want to say a thank you because this is going to go in my studio, right? So you guys know the story of uh, just two amazing gals out there who are probably watching. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I cannot wait to put this in my studio. I love it, I love it. And that, of course, has Mr. Pickles on it. The uh, fun monkey hanging from the tree branch, or from the, um, from the paintbrush. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So true story, I come in today, let everything dry, and now I kind of do my size up, okay? And I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit happy. By the way, we should do a giveaway. We should, right? What do you guys think? Hashtag Banana Bunch right below. If you are a member of the Banana Bunch and uh, you know what? You say that we should do some Banana Bucks giveaway, okay? Banana Bucks is where we share a with somebody out there, somebody who just hangs out just for fun, right? $20 uh, to use online at junkmonkeypaint.com to get a 
a paint of their choice, something that they see over there, okay? So Matt can tell you all about that in just a second. But when I come in today and I'm looking at it, I'm seeing the crackling and now I do my finished process, okay? Even, can you see down here? Like, okay, I'm not even, I haven't even taken out my oh, distress geez. pad yet. You okay? I almost fell over. This is just my finger, okay? You ready? Do you see what happens? Like, this doesn't happen with Mr. Pickles, right? Do you know what I'm saying? This is all Petunia at work, right here. This is Petunia at work, all right? And this is just the, you know, the soft skin on my finger going over it and you see how it dries, it, it like gives you all this chippiness, okay? So now once I go ahead and I take my medium grit sand block, which by the way, these are on our website. Oh my gosh, can we get excited about this part right here? All right, I, I am oh. shivering with All right, Aunt I'm gonna Lisa. pull it over and uh, just watch what happens when I go across this area here, Patient. okay? Oh, so exciting, this is, this is the exciting part. Oh. Hello, hello, like right there right there and now what i'm going to do is go ahead and take my sand block and go all over so what happens is any parts that want to flake off and chip off they are going to fall off at this point okay no this is not lead paint it gives you that look though when you look at those old pieces come on you guys know what i'm talking about right that the yummy chippy like flakes of paint are falling off that's the sort of look that you can get with our milk paint okay and the more shinier your surface surface the more opportunity for flaking and chipping just like that, okay? So this is gorgeous. And so this is the answer as to why you wanna decide, do I want the chalky style paint or do I want the milk paint? Your question to yourself should be, well, what is my end result? Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sand this off and Matt, you can do some shout outs here. Yeah. But I also have to tell you that the reason why I did not get excited when I saw some brush hairs come off when I first took one of my shabby chip brushes to get this look is because I knew I was going to be going over with a polish, right? With with this, um, this sand block. And so at this point, I don't get carried away with this because before you start with a new brush, yes, you can just kind of like, you know, pull on the end, see if there's any little bristles that aren't quite, you know, uh, clamped down really well. But at the end of the day, if you see when it comes off, like there's one over here, I know wait, 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 I'm... Let me Sorry, I was too excited. I know I'm going to go ahead and it's gone, okay, at the end of the day. So I am not somebody who gets excited about brushes. Well, there's some because, over girl, here if you want to hit these. You are going to be, yes, because they'll just come right off, right? Because you have a sand block and now you're getting them all off. Done, gone, boom, right? See what I'm saying? So there we go. Except I'll come back over to that side just a second. Right here. You what do you know need? me and my OCD. Okay, let me get it for you. Let me get it for you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> Are you happy? Ah. You see what I do for you? Do see, you there's one right here I was trying like, to pick at. Yes, you were. And she wouldn't let me. She wouldn't let me take it off. Because I wanted to show my friends. Oh. Okay. Oh. Look, because I knew I was gonna be doing this. Oh. Right? Look, gone. Boom. Lovely. Gorgeous. Chippy. Just leave me alone with my painted furniture, okay? Yeah, whatever. Knock yourself All out, right. great. Okay, let me just go. I'm tired. I'm I just want to go home and go to bed. Just shabby find this up. You guys can watch Matt. Tell everybody I, about the I banana just bucks. Go. 20 big banana bucks go if you share. And type share below. Give us hearts. Give us love. We may pick you. If we don't pick you, there's always tomorrow or another day. There's <laughs> always five days in a week. Yes. Five days in a week. Uh, this is not with Chippy Hippie, it's just pain on its own. Chippy Hippie is a totally different effect. Chippy Hippie basically is when you get petunia sugar. Mm. Yeah, she like, goes even crazier, hey, yeah. I've got a great Chippy Hippie um, video. If you go on my YouTube and you type in, just go search Junk Pocket Paint Company and, chip, <laughs> and search Chippy Hippie, you will see it right before your eyes. It is an awesome video. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Who's going over here with us, by the way? It's Everybody. Friday afternoon. Who's hanging out? Uh, Angela Helmets Griffith, Griffith and Real Haas, Teresa Durbin, Kimberly Hagen. That's right, Kimberly. You know my pain. Uh, <laughs> Debbie DeMoss Hackett, Amy Clausen Miller, Marie Roach Barone, Cricket Spangler. Sonia loves her paint. She's comical. I think it's starting to border be borderline psychosis, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, Lynn Avery says, hi, you guys. That's scary laugh. Lynn Avery has a uh, uh, profile pic of her puppy that looks like Duffy Doodle. Oh, no way. Yeah. Uh, Susan Marie Guido-Peterson says, much more fun than the hearings all day. Yes, it is. 
Jan Cook Brown, Brown Cook says, poor Matt Matt, he's tired. Yeah, I moved almost 2,000 cans of paint today. That's a lot of cans of paint. You might not think that's a lot of cans of paint, but when you're dealing with boxes and palm boxes upon boxes, it's a lot of paint. So, anyways. Hey, Lisa Lee, Lisa Roar, Amy Clausen's laughing at me. Barbara Fife, checking in from Austin. Trisha C from oh, North yeah. Carolina. Oh, yeah. Jai oh, yeah. Cafel. Oh, yes. That's turning out beautiful. Yeah. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. Love it. Flipping gorgeous. Gorgeous, baby. Gorgeous. Close on that name. Good job. Yelmas. Oh yeah, look at all this chippy right Yelmus. here. So I'm taking Yelmus is Norwegian. Amy uh, Klaas is checking in. Marilyn Zomolinski found a shelf right on my wall. Yeah? For a project. Woohoo. Woo you know what we need yeah. to do? What? We need to do... Uh, just, I love it when you have ideas. We just need to do Halloween furniture. Halloween around. furniture? How fun would that be? Yes. Yes, we could do that. Moving paint is like moving. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, you know what? We'll put a Halloween movie on the background. We'll have munchies. I'll paint furniture, and we'll just like watch like Beetlejuice, and we'll check in. And... Uh, How about that? We have you saw movie. Hocus Pocus, Pocus, Pocus for the first time last night. I did. I watched Hocus Pocus last night. You didn't night. say anything about it. I think it's because we fell asleep after. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I love the movie Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Boy, you say that out loud. It doesn't even sound right. <laughs> you know what uh, I'm saying? Oh, yeah. All right, uh, we're going to focus in the front because I can do the sides later, but I want to share with you guys on here, like, the beginning to end steps of what I'm going to do with this now, right? Okay? So. Laura oh, said, what the heck? Yeah. A link attached to the bottom of my last comment. Just go in and delete it. I don't know. Uh, Trudy's checking in from Pitts. Pittsburgh, right, PA. Show real quick. Shush. Sh give him up close to her. Yeah, I just said I was reminded of uh, when I was a kid, we used to listen to the morning show on WDVE that when you wanted to send in a request, you would send a self-abused stomped antelope. What? To, uh, <laughs> to 1000 Fleet Street, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 15. That's funny. Oh, 658. All right, guys. What are you going to so do to the inside? I'm going to go and um, put ah, in thanks, new, new shelving yep. material. Totally. Oh. I might tear that up. That's my yes. next project, to go inside. Yeah. To go inside. All right, so here we are right now, guys. So what do you think I'm going to do? Here is my plan. I am going to wax this sucker up, okay? So here is the deal. I'm going to grab me a whole new <laughs> tin of monkey shine. Look at that right there. Oh, the God, Justin. So I went to Canada. I left, like, all my stuff back in Canada and, uh, on purpose, left it with the family. And, uh, so I get a whole new team to hold with my Oh, yeah. Family. I still listen to DV. Um. All right. So, Mar wax, by the way, and brushes are yes. on our website. All right? I'm going to yep. go ahead and get started here. Mary said, what's for supper? Um, Ooh. maybe something made by somebody I may or may not know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, Matt. Yeah, what are we going to have? I don't know. I don't even no. want to cook. I don't know. I feel like I feel like maybe we should uh, venture forth. We're into my favorite season of the year. Yeah. We're into oh. my favorite holiday of the year. <laughs> Can we just talk about how gorgeous that is? Oh my lord! Like I'm seriously, like seriously, so nourishing, right? I mean, look down here. Okay, come to the front. Do you have to sand before you use milk paint? It depends. Only if you. If it's super shiny. Guys, can you see? Yes. Can you see when you put monkey shine, your furniture smiles back? Oh my, that was so cheesy. Now it looks like, <laughs> now it looks like we got a frog. Oh, he's a kitty patootie. Look, look. Okay, so is it a boy or a girl, right? That's what you yeah. gotta ask yourself. Is it a boy or Say is it a girl? Say hello to your sister. Right, hey Anna, Banana, how are ya? Anna's getting ready to move. She's having yard sales. Um, but yeah, didn't those corbels turn out good that Anna gifted me? <laughs> Jan, Jan's going out to a local restaurant called I Don't Care. Uh, 
Just get me out. Yes. Make me supper. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to use dark glaze and then monkey shine. We may. Not today. I'm going to actually make my own tinted wax in just oh, a second. Oh, never mind. That's okay. I didn't tell Matt. See, we, we just, you know. So, I'm going to use so like a, a black, something that's, with that's, a black design in the... In the in the inside, so I want to bring some of that black to the outside as well, right? That's one of my favorite names of all time. What's that? Juju. Juju. Goth. <laughs> I like the name Juju. Yeah. I personally like Juju because I would, I, when I was in the Marine Corps, I had a lot of friends from uh, Louisiana, and they would always, you know, oh, that bad Juju day, sorry. <laughs> so I made baked ziti with my own sauce. Oh, man. I will be over. Man. Um, okay, just shoot us the address. Oh, you're please. welcome, Emily. Uh, Donna Williams. This says so guys, hello. So what happens when you do um, our monkey shine is it's all natural beeswax oil finish. And We're about. And and preserves your paint job. Go ahead. You're good. Uh, actually, uh, Lynn, we're going to show you how to do this. So, where is this piece going when complete? Hopefully, to somebody else's house. Yeah, Matt's like, do you have to bring anything else home? Yes. Remember, I started my business um, painting for my own self. And then from there, because I <laughs> loved it so much, I started painting for other people. So, uh, our house is, you know, we're, we're quite, we have we have a plenty full of furniture, all right? <laughs> my best thing was, this is, Matt, close your ears. So, when I was... Uh, Taking pictures for when I'd be like doing pieces like this. No, no, we're all friends. You can say anything out loud no, here. No, I can't have you knowing what's inside my head. So I just remember I'd be like, I gotta take a picture so people can really get you know an idea. And I would paint outside my house and my yard underneath my tree, and I uh, take lots of pictures. Who remembers when I used to post furniture underneath the big oak tree out front of our house? That was the maple. <laughs> That's going back. Oak maple. It was all gorgeous to me. The oak trees are off to the side. Oh, okay, all right. You well, can't I see am the not oak a. Trees. Horticulturalist, uh, or is that a plant? I don't know. A botanist. No, it's plant. An arborist. What's a what's, what's an the arborist. tree people? Arborist. What's a horticulturalist then? That's somebody that deals in farming and stuff like that. The reason I know what those trees are is because I painted, I, I planted them when I was saplings, okay. <clears throat> when I was a young I sapling you. myself. I so, so what was I saying? Oh yeah. So anyway, but I'm like, I got to take a picture of this because so people can envision it in their house. Get in and, here uh, because yes, you there, you go. there you Come go. On, I'm sorry, hello. people are demanding Listen, yeah, action. You know what? It could be like you know the memory of a goldfish here, and I can't remember what I just said because I'm so excited about my piece. So um, yeah, close your ears. <laughs> so I would say, um, I mean, what I would do would be like, hey babe, can you help me get it into the house because I got to take a picture of it, and then it would come into the house, <clears throat> and then I might never leave. You see how I got You're that? acting like I'm, I'm, I'm dumb and I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't, there were times that I really, really wanted to keep it and I was hoping nobody would buy it. Mm -hmm. And then there were times that I just truly wanted to get good pictures. But let's be honest here, right? Like, yeah. It could just stay in my house until it's right in your home, right? Have some friends needing the address okay. of the distribution of Junk Monkey in San Antonio. It's right on our web address. It, yeah, go our to our website. Monkey. Yeah. Look, I put and it said, I put a nose. You see it? Now it just looks like it. Silly clown. <laughs> All right. Can you believe it's like a year ago that we watched the movie It? That's the first time I saw it was a year ago. Yeah. Really you know what? Now? Speaking of which, I need to call uh, Miss Elizabeth and Chris, yes. and we need to maybe we movie night? maybe we need to uh, go back to Hofbrau for some more and, oh, and be oh, Deutsch bags. I love it, people. I love it. I love it. I will buy you so a cream puff. I will buy you a Bavarian cream puff. Nice. Okay, well, Sorry. I'm sold. I can be bought with cream puff. Yeah. All right. So, what we did now was we put clear wax all over it. So, we make our monkey shine in a clear wax, okay? Okay. Because you can tint it, I'm going to show you how to do it. First, when Matt's talking, I'm going to buff it with one of these. Well, this is going to be you. you. This yep. is going okay. to kill you. Do it. Okay. Yep. Pamela Hartler uh, Kulovitz uh, actually. Yeah, I actually asked several questions. Sure, how can I help? Uh, what do I do if I want to start a black piece? What undercolor do I start with on a desk? She wants a black piece? Yeah. Just go black. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, heck yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got it. Beverly says three weeks till convention. That means we got to get yes, to work. Yes, we're heading to St. Louis. You City. guys, you guys that are going to be at St. Louis who are coming to see us. You better appreciate it because I am leaving during my most festive time of year. Most people get into Christmas 
Most people get into Easter. I'm a Halloween man. You know what I'm seeing. What are you seeing? In a second. I just can see all that chickiness on the edge of those shelves in there. I yeah. have to go in there. That's yep. a whole other place. All right, so now what you would do hey, is go ahead and buff off the clear wax, okay? Because here's what, ha what happens. The reason why you go in circles and your brush is upright when you do it is because what you're doing is our paint is porous. Both our, both our lines are milk paint and our chalky style paint. Mm -hmm. So you're basically pushing the wax into, into all it. the pores, okay? Right. And it's sucking in. All those beautiful oils are sucking in. Your piece of furniture is going, thank you so much for this wonderful spa day. I love you so much. And now what you do is, okay, now that I've given you a big old cool glass of water, now I'm just gonna clean you up, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe your little, little mouth, okay? So now we just take off anything that's on the outside, on the excess, because already, that's already absorbed in your piece. And what it does is it plugs all the holes that's in your paint, uh -uh. and now, as a result, you've got this uh, seal that is on your paint. Make sense? Yeah. So, um, wait, where is it? So, Kim, did you, uh, she just got home from Michigan. Hey! Yes. So, are we doing our annual Christmas run to, uh, Christmas house and then uh, Frank and Mia. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. That was fun last year. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to do a meetup when we go this year. Yeah. And actually plan it out so if anybody's over that way. Yeah, we need to do meetups. Yeah, and people that give us free food. <laughs> okay, he just threw that in there, but yeah, absolutely. What do you say? You need to do the other side. I do. I told you. I want to make sure that I show them the whole process and they don't. I don't have to bore them with the sides because I can do that later. Oh, okay. All right, so come over here, take a look real fast. Uh, shall I? Yep, please do. Okay. All, right. All right, so remember, monkey shine, this goes for many, many projects, okay? So it goes a long, long way. Now, what I'm going to do is just go in with a plastic spoon or whatever you got to scoop it out with. Put a little bit in a plate or a bowl, whatever you can find. And just put a little bit out like that, okay? Now the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and grab some of your milk paint pigment. We make 20 colors of milk paint pigment for our milk paint here. They can be combined together to do any sort of color you want, which means you can paint a piece and totally have a custom piece and not be told what color you have to have your wax, okay? We like to keep it simple around these parts. You've got clear wax, you pick your color on when you go ahead to tint your wax and to do antiquing, you have that part in control. So I'm gonna reach into my stash here mm. and uh, pull out some of my black soot milk paint. And can you see down into that uh, bowl yes. down there, Matt? Okay, awesome. Uh, a Christmas story house in Cleveland, and then of course Bronner's, um, and uh, going to get some good Stollen and you know, some Spätzle and some, you know, good Schnitzel. I'm not going for the for the chicken dinner, sorry. Can't handle, handle. <laughs> All right, so you put as much as you need down there. You can make more if you need to. But now I have myself a black antiquing wax, yeah. okay? So the reason why I create, I put down uh, my clear wax first is because now it's gonna be so more for, much more forgiving because I can manipulate this on top of my clear wax because my clear wax has already plugged those paint pores. Make sense? Yeah. So that way I can use a clear wax like an eraser if I wanna erase yeah. it. And it gives me plenty of time to be able to work with it. But yes, this is my messy stash, but this is the same stuff. This is one of my green stashes. I can make green wax and put it over a white piece of furniture if I really want to. But that's what's cool about our, pro our products. We make them and think about them <laughs> to be able to all work together, right? So let's go ahead and grab a little bit. <laughs> Desiree from? says, sounds like you're cussing. Yes, that's that was my life growing up in a German yeah, household. Yeah, yeah, right? This is true. So speaking of that, sound mean. so speaking of that, I, I just mentioned. I know they're big old teddy bears, but they sound. I just mentioned stolen, and I, I'm gonna. I might have to make some stolen. I don't even know what that is. That is the lemon bread with uh, like like fruit and uh, dried fruits, okay. and it's iced. All right, as I get older, Remember, I can appreciate fruit. No, and no, bread. the ice, the ice bread. Is it like fruit cake or something. Yeah, with the no, no, it's the bread. I don't it's know. a lemon flavored bread yes. with icing on top. You've had it. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. All right. So. so now what I'm doing is just tracing this out with my dark wax, okay? So. Because this piece has all these different um, eye-catching parts to them, I don't want everything to look one-dimensional. That's what makes your, your piece look gorgeous. It's gorgeous, baby, is when you go yes. ahead and you bring all that stuff out, right? So you've got the brownie, frowny brown underneath coming through. All that gorgeous chipping and cracking. And when you're up close, you can really see all the texture. And we've got our hey, green, Pam Warner. right? I was thinking about you today. And now we're adding black. Ooh. So, um, 
You can make uh, brownie antiquing glaze. Yes. We got two browns as well, which is great because blacks and browns are great for antiquing, right? Yep. That's what naturally happens to pieces over time. Yeah. So uh, yeah, everybody who hasn't been to Frankenmuth, go to Frankenmuth. Yeah, that's so. a good place to go. Hi Pam, I was thinking about you. I drove past your house today. How you been? Um, Dana says, but it's not keto. Keto, I run keto like cycles, just like I did when I was weightlifting. I go on keto for a cycle uh, of a couple months, and then I come off of it. So if you stay on it long periods of time, you know, I, I just me personally from all the years I spent weightlifting and as, you know, as military and athletics and stuff, um, I always run in cycles because your body goes in cycles. So anyway, so I'm coming out of my keto for a you cycle. Like a caterpillar. Yes, I'm coming out of my keto. <laughs> <laughs> Your <cocoon>. My <laughs> keto, my kikoon. Your kikoon. Yeah, my That's kikoon. So, so anyway. All right, guys, what do you think so far? What do you think? Are you seeing where I'm going with this? So here is the deal. Remember, my clear wax is already mm -hmm. down. Now I'm going to finish off with whatever I want to do to antique it. So in my mind right now, I'm picturing all the different parts that make up this hutch as in like puzzle pieces, okay? So that you see what I'm saying? This little piece right here. We got this little side piece right here. We've got the trim right here. We've got this square. You get what I'm saying, right? And so much like if you want to do authentic um, antiquing, think about where things naturally would antique to. And when you're doing antiquing, you're really trying to imitate like, you know, when you see old pieces that have been around forever and the dust just settles into the dark crevices and things like that. So you have to think to yourself, what are the parts on my piece that dust would naturally settle into, right? right. So where do you think I put them down here? In between all these little, um, little like bobbles and, you know, wood parts. That this make this color is Irish eyes in our milk paint. And I'm telling you, she's smiling today. She's smiling. Yep. All right. By the way, let's do, uh, let's tell everybody about the banana bucks one last time as I finish up. Banana box, get in for twenty dollars. A big banana box. All you have to do is share and write share below. You sound like a carnival man. I am a carnival man. Step right up. Carney, very small hand, smell like cabbage. Oh my god, Matt. <laughs> awesome Welcome power to said my that. World. Welcome to my world. Linda says Matt Matt is becoming keto butterfly. Yes, Here I am. Here you go. Yes, He's I am. A yes. All right, what do you guys think, right? So now I'm just taking that same buffing cloth. And now remember, I've already plugged the pores already once of the paint with the cleaner. <laughs> and now I can just allow myself really easy to be able to do the antiquing with the dark wax. And then you just, you're just going to rub that in, okay, in those areas. So for me, I'm like, you know, trying to, to do the edges, darkening more around the edges and have the centers more light, okay? Kind of like, like you know, the moon in the, cent in the center. Mm -hmm. So light in the center, darker around your edges, just like you see the moon at night. Right. All right. You had uh, Hendel last week. What did you think of it? Are you talking to me? Yeah. When we were, oh. I had what? Hendel. What is that? Half chicken. Oh, yes. Man, I eat a half chicken myself. It was good. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't do chicken, so if I can avoid it. You can, like, buff it in, you know, smooth it out. Oh, guys, what do you think? Do you like it with the antiquing on it? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Have you enjoyed this tutorial? And who's ready right now to like, seriously, make your home cozy for, you know, all the time you're about to spend inside right now. You could do this to any piece of furniture you want. You could do it to your buffet. I mean, I'm just thinking the TV stand that you have right now. But it doesn't have to be just those pieces. It can just be like, you know, you can paint something that goes on your wall. You can repaint something that you already have. I just think, um, you know, you probably have things right now that you're over. Because I know that I get over things. After a while, you're like, okay, um, that's I'm, been with me for way too long. I'm over it. I'm over it. Yes. It's like, yeah, I do that when I clean up my closet. Like, I'm over the sweatshirt. I swear, if I see myself in, in at one more point in the sweatshirt, yeah, no, I'm over it. But you paint it, right? It's almost over. She, it's almost over. She. Loves it, loves it, loves it. So yes, I will go ahead and do my sides. I won't bore you with that part, but that is the same process as well. And with my sand pad, my sand pad gives me a nice polish. It gets rid of any brush hairs, any sort of impurities that are in my paint job. It helps flake off any more paint that just wants to pop off. Miss Petunia is gonna, you know, throw some more paint chips my way. And then from there, I will go ahead and lay my clear wax down. And then if there's any parts that I want to antique, that's the point that I take out a little bit more of the clear wax, add some of our paint um, pigment that's that's in our milk paint, 
and I can do any custom. Um, cool can you do this like with it. your chalk paint? Absolutely, sir. Yeah, you sure can. Yep. Yeah. The only difference is, of course, with the milk paint, like I said, the milk paint I played with because I never know what I'm going to get because Miss Petunia, you just have to be open. Like, I can't tell where Miss Petunia is going to allow those chips to happen. So I can't, like, be OCD about it, right? When I use Mr. Pickles, the, the chalky style paint, I am in control of where I put the distress marks and where I make it look time-worn. But when you're using our chippy milk paint, the cool thing is you just let it go and it just naturally happens. So I'm not going to be able to create these you know what I mean? Like this. Milk paint is the only paint that chips like this, okay? Our chalky style paint does not do that. That's what makes them so different. Hey, Jim. Come in and take a look at all this chippiness here. Like, uh, just let you know, uh, aprons are getting close. Yes. Actually. Well, we have like all kinds of fun announcements for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Actually, busy I'm, monkeys. I might take you into my lab. Yes, absolutely. So... I'm going to work on both sides. I'm going to put new paper in the inside in here. And let's see, what else do I have to do? The sides, the insides, and uh, I'll show you. I'll come back and I'll show you when it's completely done, but I at least wanted to show you that step today and teach you guys how to do that. And then remember, after what happens is I can go ahead and I can put my hardware back on, which this hardware goes on right here. What do you guys think of that? You know, sometimes I redo my hardware, but I like how dark this is and how it has a little bit, like, it's grungy, right? Let me see how, yeah, this is how it would hang. Actually, it would hang this way. Okay. So I love that there, and um, I also, I do think that a little bit of bronze, and this is like a dark and naturally antiqued, so I think I'm not even going to do anything with them. I just love it how they are, so I'll put that back on. Okay, uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah. Sheila, let me help you out here. She says, I bought milk paint. I don't want chippy. Uh, what you can do yep. is uh, use give... Use some extra bond. Use some extra bond, okay, or... Okay, my screwdriver to get that out. Or give your... A really good buff over. A good buff over with sand pad. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, got it. as soon as you're done and it's dried, seal it up. Yep, you got it. There you go. All right. I'm gonna get and then you don't have to worry out. about chipping. I don't think I have one okay. more. All right. So or when, go, I, when I do the final review. Once you go right. over it too, if you go over it with the second coat, you yes. should be good to go. So there you go. And you can test it because if you have something, what it, if the it's, chipping is really going to happen when you have a lot of... Uh, veneer. Like if you have fake wood or yeah, veneer or like really, really shellacky pieces, right? Because what happens is your paint doesn't have like, you know, it's so, it's gonna slide right off. You know what I'm saying? So you get more chippiness is what happens. Mm. So yeah, do a little test and uh, see what you have to do. But I talked <clears throat> about yesterday in this piece that if I did not want this to happen, I could do a nice sand of my piece to really give the milk paint some more teeth to be able to stick to. But with the tips that Matt just gave you as well, you can also consider extra bond, that's something else as well. But if you're working with a piece that's not even shiny, you might not even have to work Yeah, and if that. it's raw wood, you're good to go. It'll just suck right in. You're good, yeah. it's gonna suck right in. You got it. Uh, Love it. Let me uh, let me let me see here. Um, Juju, um, no, our paint, our our glaze is different from making dark wax. Yes, it performs different. It's a whole different thing. It also has a, a different look as well. So, yeah, you don't want to use like you don't no. want to. Um, I wouldn't want to use a dark wax and then use a poly to seal. No, right? your wax is a sealer, and even if you make dark so, wax, it's a sealer. You got it. It's all sealed now. Yep. Yep, and you just buff it until it's nice and dry and feels awesome, and your wood will thank you. It's awesome. There you go. But, yeah, if you, uh, if you plan to seal with uh, something that's going to be super, super high traffic and you're not even wanting it to be chippy style that way, you're going to want to seal with the banana peel. And if you're going to seal with the banana peel, you're not going to want to antique with wax because wax, which is oils into it, and then you have your banana peel, which is a water-based sealer. They don't mix well. So this is when you would use your glaze, when you know for sure that you're going to seal with banana peel, um, so that way they seal won't resist each with other, right? banana peel. Yeah. Uh, uh, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Uh. Oh, no, no. We're not going there. This and our big winner, we have a big winner, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the big winner for today in right, 20. Fabulous Hit banana bucks. Hit me up. Is Jean Brunkhorst. I like it. Okay, Gene Brunkhorst, you are the big winner of 20 big banana bucks. Gene Brunkhorst. Like, oh, will you let me get done? Yes. What you have to do is email us at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight Eastern Standard Time I like it. to claim your prize. And I want to say hello to Gaylene. I haven't said hello to her in a little say bit. Hello to Gaylene. Gaylene, Gaylene is my favorite Kiwi. <laughs> uh, yes. hey, I'm just thinking of all the possibilities, people. I haven't got this finished. I gotta work on the inside. I'll come back on and show you the very end result. But this hopefully is give you guys some ideas. Out, I just okay? found out yesterday the other day, Gaylene has a hot car. 
Really? Yeah, she does. Ooh. Me and her can be very, very good friends. Nice. There you yes. go. Well, if you're nice to her, maybe she'll take for a ride. Yep. Well, you know what I'm saying. 302 boss. Mm. All right. Small so boss. did you give away a winner? I did. Who was it? Jean Brunkhorst. Jean Brunkhorst. Okay, I gotta make sure. She just said, yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. That makes me happy. <laughs> that makes me happy. All right. Are you getting ideas? Are you getting ideas, my friend? I hopefully you will get to paint something this weekend. And uh, yeah, Monday through Friday, we love to DIY in our page here. I got lots of furniture. There's, there's furniture. Also. Uh, I just have so to tell you, cleaning. by Monday, <laughs> I'm going to be all Halloween-y. Life is good. I'm turning into a Halloween. -y. All right. By the way, Matt's got a vlog up tonight on YouTube on our YouTube channel. What? Yeah, your vlog, dude. What vlog? Come on, your roast beef vlog. From Canada? Yes. Ah, oh, where Talk I do. Talk with Matt tonight. Yeah, where I show you how to do. Thirty minutes in the kitchen. Show, so I show yes. you how to do a simple uh, sour rotten I and make. I show you how to paint. He shows you how to cook. Fantabulous. Paint and food, man. What else do you need in this? Roast world? beef sandwiches. Yes. Yes. So it's right now uploading to YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and you search Junk Monkey Paint Company, you will see my smiling face. And then um, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, we do a new behind the scenes vlog. So if and you haven't got enough punishment hanging out with us today, And you'll see my hands. You can hang out <laughs> with Matt, yes. My yes. hands all over my mother-in-law's kitchen. Oh my gosh. That just sounds so appetizing. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Linda Thank has you. a 69 bug. That's Sonya's favorite car. Oh yes. Oh, yes. yes. All right. <laughs> All right, we done? I will catch you guys later. All right. See, see ya. ya. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye.